Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> hey, what's up, everyone? Today, it's the man child. Okay, so today for review, we got the new Masters Universe, Masterverse, New Attorney, Two Bad. I mean, look at that guy. Um, yeah, I can't believe they put out a Two Bad in the Masterverse line. Um, because I, I wish they would in the Origins, but he's so I found mine in a Paul Mart store. As fast he comes and he sells out. They're in very limited quantities. I want to say. It's listed as exclusive figure, but exclusive to what? Because I've been on Amazon, bad, Big Bad Toy Store Entertainment Earth. I don't see any listing for Too Bad anywhere that I've found. And some other people mentioned in the comments. It's really bizarre. But there's a few out there. And if you're lucky, you can pick one up. Um, but he looks great. And I'm wondering if Mattel, with this particular figure, thought a little ahead of the game. So being that he's all new tooling, if they made two separate tool figures for each character. And... If you're not familiar, going back to the 2000X show, from what I remember, they were a pair of hired bounty hunters to track down He-Man, and their names were Tuvar and Badra when they were separated. Now, of course, Skeletor put a spell on them and merged them together like this and become too bad. So it's kind of what you got. But it would be cool if we can get a couple separate figures down the road in Masterverse line with these. I mean, of course, once people get their hands on a too bad and they come out more. Um, otherwise, I can't believe the size of the figure, the box, the weapons. Looks awesome. And checking out the back of the box, here's the new art. Looks pretty cool. Like all the tentacles coming out of order there. And just how two beds, each head's looking each direction. Trying to figure out how to attack this monster, or whatever it is. Um, these are the four new figures out in the line. I have all 40s. I teased them already, and I'll get the reviews as soon as I can. And let's bring in the bio for a closer look. You want to pause and read that? This is just some more art, two bad on the side. And the other side's just, yeah, the two bad himself. But what's interesting, too, with this bio, I read it a little bit. Instead of saying Skeletor fused them both together, it was a treasure with a curse that fused these two together now. And they are still Tuvar and Badra. I think that's interesting. I don't remember that in the 2000X um, show. I thought it was Skeletor, but I just wanted to throw that out there. And here's a quick look around with two bad and all his accessories out of box. And bringing in two bad for closer look. I got to say, this is the figure of the year. This, if not the best figure in the Masterverse line yet. Just a size... What he comes with, I mean, it's too bad. I, I thought the new Attorney Beast Man really impressed me. What's still is cool, but yeah, he's no, he's it, number one. Um, but let's check out the heads here. So his head on this side, I mean, awesome. I love how it's raised up like that. Going back to that 2000X figure, which I can't find mine, <laughs> but I don't need him no more with this guy. Um, you can turn left to right, right, go forward and down like this. Look all around. I mean, look at the detail on that. Just the fangs, the red eyes, the gold highlights. On this eyebrowed armor, I want to call it, on the top, right? It's all the scales the way it's all done. It's got the little points for the ears there. It's kind of the front and the back. Check it out. And it's going over to that blue side, that head there. Just the red eyes, the, the earrings in the in the ear over here, the fangs, the articulation forward, back, down and up. Really awesome. They just look great. I love the way they can just look apart. You know, look forward. It's just, it, it looks so cool. Um, I love the way, too, that the scales on this side overlaps and it's just it goes all over the place where the classics just went right down the middle and i think the vintage was like that too it looked more natural to where they were fused just had this mess not this perfect toy looking design you know with the classics did which the classics one's still pretty cool um i love the, i love this piece of armor which comes off we'll get into that now with the heads we'll switch them around let's pop one off i mean it's gonna look silly but and real quick, I just obviously switched the heads. Um, yeah, it looks silly, but hey, why not? It's too bad. If you had this merger, why couldn't a purple head be on one side, the blue on the other? But if you want to see what it looks like and your articulation, all works the same. Okay, so switching heads back on. Um, let's check out the chest arm and the chest. I mean, that that looks awesome. It's a, it's actually a pretty hard material. But you can see close up on that. It's all design. It, it's a metallic copper goldish color, I want to say. You know, but it still has like a orange highlights going back to the vintage toy a little bit. It's the front, here's the back. Now the back, you can see how the straps overlap. You got this piece here I was looking at. It does spin, and it can hold all three weapons. But this is, like, really hard. I mean, you got to heat this up. I'll, I'll, we'll get to that in a minute when I bring out the weapons, how they go in there. It, it hurts your finger clipping them in. So you might have to heat this up. Here's your cross buckle straps. We'll take them off in a second. But just, you know, focusing on all the designs back there. And with the armor, you're going to pop these straps. I had to work on them a little bit because this armor is really, yeah, it's hard and uh, i didn't want to break nothing so i just worked them out and let's see so the armor is going to pop up like this and i wonder if all right so it comes right off you don't have to take the heads off or nothing so take a closer look at it right so armored and everything see how flexible it is 
And here's our two bear without the armor on. Of course, he has the ab crunch there. Awesome range of motion, right? Go back and forth. Go back about that far forward. Um, yeah, I again, I love the way this design was all merged with the purple scales coming into the blue like that. And then this belt does come off too. So it's kind of the front and here's the back. Um, as far as the articulation, now let's do the arms without the armor because it'll work all the same with the armored. You got this rubber piece too. It's another armored shoulder piece. And this looks like it just slides right off. So we'll take that out of the way. Take a look at that first. So you get this. It's like, it's just rubber, this piece here. And I put that shoulder piece on the other arm to show you it does work. Kind of sits in the uh, bicep cut with his best and it still moves around. So take a look at that. All right, so taking it off and let's check out the arm articulation. So we can go up, forward. We can spin all around. Um, my joints are really tight on this figure. You got to kind of work them out. I might get stuck here as backwards. But he had a bicep swivel. Of course, we're doing the, blue, the right arm first. Can bend all the way in like so. Um, can spin. I don't know if this... All right, the... It doesn't seem like the bracer spins on mine. It seems like it's glue, but the wrist does spin. And of course, he comes with the uh, semi-closed punching hand or weapon gripping hand on this side. And he does come with another hand too. I'll show you that in a little bit. Well, it looks really good. I love the detail on that. Going to the other side. So this side's obviously you know, the scaly side. Go up, down, right? Spin all around like this. Bicep swivel. Elbow isn't going up like so. Um, has a different bracer on the side, which also feels like it's glued on. And then he also comes with the punch and fist, which spins and, you know, it's on a hinge joint too and it's semi-closed. This one too is on a hinge joint too. Go in and out, spin. Here's a quick look with the range of motion with both arms out, how long they are. I just, I had to mess around with the uh, hinge joints in there, loosen them up, but check that out. So working our way down, of course, we have, we already did the ab crunch, you know, ab crunch. Let's, we can spin at the waist as well. He has this cool belt <laughs> with two different sides, a dragon and a bird on each side split there and we can see the belt moves um this holsters for the laser pistol which will bring in a little bit All right you kind of see the front and the back and then that's it belt pops apart there's a two bed with no belt on typical loincloth actually a little redesign here of course there's new aesthetics got the big black loincloth here it's really soft front and the back that's what he looks like spinning without this belt on and bringing this belt in for a closer look Check out the details on it. Yeah, really well done. I love all the jewels. How it's just different on both sides for too bad. All right, so stripping them all down with the armor and the belt. Check them out. Let's move on to the legs. So the legs now, right, we can go out like this. I want, where most Masterverse could do a full split, but he can't. And I'll show you why. Got a hinge joint with a cut in this purple scaly side, but the blue side doesn't. First, I thought it was just stuck. You can see that in the light, but it's just a hinge joint that goes in there, and that's it. It can't. It can't go out. I don't know if this is normal with this figure. I mean, now, of course, we have these weird thigh cuts. You can do that. Um, yeah, but it's interesting, huh? Anyway, purple leg can go forward, back, go way out as I show, right? I already said spin. Bend all the way up at the knee. Here's the uh, cool, you know, uh, bracer on the leg there. I like that. Whole different designs. Going back to the bracer on the, um, <clears throat> the forearms. That can spin there, and it looks like these can pop off. If you wanted to and put He-Man boots on or something, I'm assuming. I'm not going to... These you got to heat up, take them off too. So I'm not going to bother with it, but it looks like it can come off. And then we can also move with the foot. Right? We got a hinge joint, go up and down. And it can rock and spin left to right. And then with the blue side. So, okay, let's see. We can go forward, back. We can't go out. Or mine can't. Spin there, as I said. Bend all the way up at the knee. Spin at that silver boot there. And same thing. Go up with the foot, down, and kind of rock side to side. All right, so I got two bad old dressed back up. I think I went over everything well. I'm sorry if I'm rushing or I missed something. I'm not feeling well. Health issues I got, so I'm trying to focus here. I'm doing the best I can without making it too long and boring to get to the point. Um, now, mine's having a hard time standing. I use my Kaiser stands on everything, as I mentioned. It's just, yeah, something gets loose in the joints. I can fix it. But for now, if you're wondering why this is on here, it just makes things a lot easier. So moving forward with two bears accessories, we got a laser pistol, which looks pretty cool. It's just in a just silver, um, and it goes in that holster. So let's bring that in, check it out. And of course, you can see the holster on the right side, and the pistol is going to like sit in like this. You got to stretch it out a little bit, but holds in it really well. So it looks like that. And here's a quick look with the pistol in Tuvar's hand. Looks awesome. Yeah, just the way you can set the articulation, move the head forward. It's like a hold up. So for your next accessory, you get two additional hands or Closed punching fists, obviously for the right and left side. I never use them. You can see the typical peg. You want to change them out, but you do get those. And just to take a quick look at Badger side, let's pop the peg out. See how that comes out, okay? And then pop the punching fist in. 
All right, articulation of the hinge joint's been going in and out. Here's a quick look with the punch and fist in Badger side. We'll check that out. Looks pretty cool. So his next accessory is this cool like double-headed mace. That's I like the design of that. It's really heavy-duty, you know, plastic. It's not gummy. It's a metallic greenish color, I want to say, but the handle's really solid. <laughs> These uh, spikes are sharp. That's a pretty new weapon. Then you get this round mace weapon. Same thing, sharp spikes. Obviously, it's a maroon, like a metallic maroon color. Really good plastic, so you get that. Then you get this really cool axe with some taping at the bottom of the handle. And again, just like the belt, it's cool. You have a dragon on one side and like an eagle or bird on the other, a phoenix or something. Get that. That's a real cool accessory. And the last accessories, you get his iconic shield, kind of the straps on the back, then a metallic, it matched the armor, gold color. Um, yeah, same thing as the uh, split eagle dragon on the uh, front there, and just how it's split in half with the different symbols around and the um, triangular ones on each side. All right, for a little fun, let's set up too bad with some more weapons. So yeah, I got the green mace in Tuvar's hand, and we got the red one in Badger's hand, so we can check that out. That looks so awesome. It's just so cool how you can position these heads. I really like your articulation of look with this guy. It's just incredible. And let's put our shield on Badger's side. And so we'll just kind of strap a slide up on the bracer and you'll put the other strap in the closed position hand. And here's a look with our shield in hand. And I want to make a point of the shield for a second. It seems like it's set up to be on Badger's side because you have a shorter strap. You can see that on this side and a larger one on the side that's going to go in first over the hand. Now, you could get it to work on Tuvar's side, but you got you got to try to take the hand off and heat this and stretch over the arm, and then you got this kind of slopping hand. It will work, but, yeah, it doesn't seem to be you know, designed to do that, so you got to be careful. I just want to make a point of that. All right, and put the axe in Tuvar's hand and put the green mace weapon in Badger's hand. Check that out. A little cool stance going, looking that direction. I did pop the shield. You can see it on the back. We'll get to that in a second, but you can see it. Kind of stick that one strap through that little piece. I don't know if it's designed to do that, but it does hold. I want a place to put the shield, I'm not using it. And finally, one of the last points is this storage piece on the back. So you can see it spins around. It's actually a face. I just realized that. You can spin it, but this is the right way to have it right side up, left to right. Hey, look at that. It's got teeth, eyes. That's awesome. Now, I'll just leave it up this way. Um, So you can see the handle's going here, but it's really tight. You got to push it with a lot of force to get these weapons in there. Like that. But once they're in, you know, it holds pretty well and you can yeah, hang it upside down or whatever side, you know, you want it to position position it, but kind of looks like. And here's a look at the axe, same thing, left to right or upside down. Check that out. And finally, red mace. Again, back to that leg holster too, if you want it. Didn't want to use the pistol or put the pistol in hand. You could put the axe through there. I mean, it wouldn't be practical, but it does hold most of the weapons. There's your red mace. And here's your green one. You can also slide the shield all the way over this hand by pushing the strap up over the um, closed wrist and put an axe or weapon hand like that. And real quick, I'm just comparing it to it's my classics, keep most of my stuff in card, but you can see how they changed up the weapon. He has a split dual weapon together, and so did the 2000X, so they gave him separate weapons. You can check that out. The shield's very reminiscent with the classics, but I mean, this guy, it classics is awesome looking, goes back to that vintage style, too bad, but this guy's way better. Articulation is better. He just looks meaner. I gotta say, what a job they did on him. And of course, we gotta do a little size comparison. So here's our first release, Revelation Skeletor, next to our new new attorney too bad. Look at the size of that guy. Here's a little size comparison with our Masterverse Catcher and Too Bad. Check those out side by side. Here's a little size comparison against our Too Bad and our new attorney beast man. Now he was another figure came out like super sized, as they did Too Bad. And that's awesome with this Masterverse line because this is how it should go, like in a 2000X style. So if they ever come out with Whiplash or Clawful, which I hope they do, they should be the size of these figures if you go back to that cartoon in comparison with normal characters like Triclops and Skeletor. I really like that they did this, but they're pretty much equal as far as size. They look great together. And for one last comparison, of course, we'll throw in a couple classics. I'll throw in my classics, Flying Fist Team man and my Terra Claws Skeletor against Too Bad. I mean, look at that. Look at that scale. That's just so cool. So to finish the video up, here's the last look with Too Bad. I got them all decked out with all weapons he comes with, and everything works. We've got the pistol in the holster, whatever I could put on the back, the mace, a mace in hand, the axe in hand, the shield in the other hand. 
All right, so overall, I think this new Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, New Eternia, uh, too bad, is just awesome. I, I couldn't be happier the way it came out. I have no complaints. He's a 10 for 10. I love the size, the sculpt, the weapons, the colors, just the way he sizes up against your other Masterverse or classics. It's just, this is the way Mattel has to keep going with these figures. Incredible. Um, and I really hope they start getting these out there so you guys can get your hands on them because he's no doubt, in my opinion, in my collection, best Masterverse figure of the year, if not yet. So thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.